Greetings, unsettled souls! Welcome to The Correct Views, a semi-B doing political commentary. You might know me from the media speaks, possibly blasting news. Uh, those of you astute uh, may notice that my most recent work has appeared in WND, World News Daily. Very proud to say that they are one of the oldest news sites, or one of the oldest sites in general, but uh, one of the oldest news sites on the internet. And uh, I am seeing what I've done to my hand. I am uh, very excited to have been published on it. I put the link in the description, it, it should show up. Um, so, as it pertains to the, the show, it has been brought to the attention of yours truly that some comments that were left by people have been vanished. Why did I do so? Well, I was actually only vanishing one person, and I think that some of you, particularly Eric, who I have debated since the 90s, wondered why I suddenly picked, uh, out of nowhere, a Fukushima debate to uh, censor him. No, that wasn't what it was. A uh, routine troll. Uh, somebody who I have allowed to troll the page for a long time. And again, I don't care if someone doesn't agree with me. It usually means that they're mistaken. So I'm not that concerned about it. Um, he accused me of stealing donation money. I.e. like people were donating and he was implying that I wasn't doing things. Such as when you saw me in D.C., when you saw me in Harrisburg, when you saw me on the Trump train up and down Ohio. Uh, these kinds of things. So uh, for slander... He did get knocked off of the page, and many of you know who I mean. You won't be seeing him anymore. Uh, in the event that he uses another page to creep on here, he won't even be acknowledged. He will be gone. You do not slander on the page. You may insult. You may do whatever you want to do that makes you feel manly. Why, you know, type from the back of your van or whatever. If that makes you feel great, then so be it. Otherwise, you're not welcome here. So, some people had left comments that were in the same thread. And uh, those comments went the way of the great digital ether when I uh, knocked him off of the page. And rightfully so, I stand by what I did. But it has been brought to my attention that some people's comments got booted along the way. And I just wanted to start the show by saying that's not intentional. And if you are one of the unsettled souls who would like to donate to the show... Uh, the correct views at hotmail.com through PayPal is how to do that. Um, currently, there's just a couple shows a month. I did post um, a ghost hunting documentary that I was part of. But a couple reasons for that. One is, uh, I'm going to get to all the Fukushima news. Uh, some of that has to do with the unjust deletion of my Facebook page. Tens of thousands of followers and hundreds of thousands of views away from yours truly. And the other reason is, many of you noticed that uh, the 420 rolled around again and there was no Buddy Puff character. A lot of that went the way of the Dodo Bird when Christelle left the show. A lot of that part of the show and that part of me in general just it wasn't the same anymore. So I, we, I quit doing those. I do the show enough now to keep the name out there, uh, to keep it active. Um, again, things like World News Daily, World Net Daily, I should say. I don't want people to look up who I am and not find anything. So currently I'm doing the massive Fukushima updates, and I am doing uh, the Dumps Cap of the Month awards show, which highlights idiots both of a political and non-political nature. It's worth, it's worth watching, and uh, if you wish to support that, if you wish to be a part of sponsoring the show, if there's ways that uh, you can get this out to more people past the shadow banning, past the censorship and the lies, if you would like to be a part of that, if you're somebody who has access and know-how to that, I uh, would greatly appreciate your help. If you would like to get a hold of me, that is also something that you can do through the correct views at Hotmail.com. All right, friends, I've let everyone trickle in. Check this out. Um, all, all month, week, whatever long, we have heard, uh, those of us who have followed the 
nightmare that is the Fukushima disaster, we have noticed more and more talk about releasing radioactive water into the ocean. And there is uh, some talk about whether or not the amount that's being released is going to be dangerous. Uh, said troll, <clears throat> who was knocked from the page, uh, and many others who are shills for the industry or are somehow tied into the bad science that comes from the industry are those who do foolish things like not listen to this show and believe the truth therein. Um, they're under the impression that a little bit of tritium will be okay. Well, you can go to nis.org and it's a fact sheets for the tritium basic info dot pdf. Again, N-I-R, N-I-R-S dot org. Tritium health consequences. Before we get into what's happening with the water releases here, let's go ahead and take a look at what tritium does. Nuclear Utility Exelon and its subsidies have leaked and released. Again, this is a, this is a, uh, it's talking about a different instance of tritium being released. It's not Fukushima. The reason I'm addressing this is because of what it says about the amounts and the actual health risks with which reliable science, and not fake science, not science that says, you know, that nuclear energy is safe or that certain amounts of radionuclear poisonings are fine or that dilution is the solution to pollution or anyone who says that man is warming the planet. None of, none of the bad science. What does the real science say? Well, here you go. Nuclear utility Exelon and its subsidies have leaked and released millions of gallons of cooling water contaminated with radioactive tritium into the environment, threatening drinking water supplies. From what is currently known, leaks that occurred as early as 1996 were not discovered by the public until recent. While leaks were first revealed at Exelon reactors in Illinois, other leaks, it says, have been revealed at reactors in New York, Arizona, and New Jersey. Reports indicate that tritium is being detected in leachlet from municipal landfills in Pennsylvania. At this point, we do not know how many other communities are being affected. And I, again, it tells you to keep an eye on their website. So um, it says exactly what tritium is. Of course, uh, it will bind anywhere hydrogen does, which uh, including a water, plant, and animal, and human tissue. It cannot be removed from the environment once it is released. Tritium can be inhaled, ingested, or absorbed through the skin. That makes it more deadly than even some of the more famous and deadly radionuclides. That, that, that makes it stand out a bit there. Because <clears throat> even some of the more deadly ones are not of a... I don't want to watch how I word this. They're not as deadly if they are, for instance, not inhaled. So the, the, the fact that the science shows that tritium can be inhaled, ingested, or absorbed through the skin and can never be removed and is dangerous is, is uh, striking, to say the least. It goes on that eating food containing uh, tritium can be even more damaging than drinking. Uh, drinking, even if it's found in water. Consequently, an estimated radiation dose based only on ingestion of irrigated water may underestimate the health effects if the person has also consumed food contaminated with tritium. So, if you've eaten it and drinking it, drank it, drinking it, if you've eaten it and drank it, if you have consumed it via eating or drinking, it is uh, it's dangerous. And it becomes, it seems, dangerous in levels pertaining to if both were done. Tritium is primarily a byproduct of the nuclear power industry, no surprises, which releases large amounts of megacuries of tritium per year. This is according to Dodson, 1979. Tritium has a half-life of 12.3 years, which means it will be dangerous for at least 120 years. Again, blink of an eye from when Fukushima happened, I don't a hint over 10 years ago. Since the hazardous <clears throat> life for a radionuclide is 10 to 20 times longer than its half-life, that's why, by the way, 
So when they, like, let me pause there actually, because I, I'm, I'm familiar with this, but I know that a lot of people are not. When someone hears that the half-life of tritium is 12.3 years and they think it'll be safe, you know, meh, roughly if it came out, if it was just released, when you go 12 years, you should be fine. Go high end, give it 13 years, right? No. The hazardous life for a radionuclide is 10 to 20 times higher than its half-life. Much of the initial research, it says, on health effects of tritium was conducted in the 1970s when an increase in nuclear power was seen as inevitable. Oh, like trying to save from the imaginary global warming Easter Bunny today? Things are so much different than the 70s, right? <clears throat> Well, I guess it is in a way, because now you have the nuclear, uh, the, the, the loony left that was at least correct on their stance against nuclear, now embracing it, because they believe that, foolishly, that man is warming the planet. Earth Day! Hell out of here. Existing nuclear power reactors have been releasing dangerous levels of tritium into our air and water for decades. It continues that the public is now becoming aware of the magnitude of tritium's hazards. Well, wow, even more shown so now uh, in uh, the age of Fukushima. Most studies indicate, now please listen to this, most studies indicate that tritium in living creatures can produce typical radiogenic effects, including cancer, genetic effects, developmental abnormalities, and reproductive effects. Strom tritium can cause mutations tumors, and cell death. Rutama tritiated water is associated with significantly decreased weight of brain and genital or tract organs in mice. Torak, these are, these are, the, uh, these are the, uh, the credits that are in this NIRS uh, piece. I'm letting you know which scientist in the piece said it. I haven't lost my mind. Um, can cause inevitable loss of female germ cells in both mice and monkeys, even at low concentrations. That was also found in the Dobson study. Now this is the, please, please, all of you idiots, all of you idiots that insist on coming here and trying to argue with me, please listen to this. Quote, studies indicate that lower doses of tritium can cause more cell death, mutations, and chromosome damage per dose than higher tritium doses. Tritium can impart damage which is two or more times greater per dose than either x-rays or gamma rays. And again, this is, uh, can, this is in tandem with the problems that can come up if it's eaten or uh, if you drank it, which we already covered. There is no evidence of a threshold for damage from, from tritium. Even the smallest amount of tritium can have negative health impacts. Yeah, but they're not releasing much into the ocean, Sam. Even the smallest amount of tritium can have negative health impacts. Well, yeah, but I'm sure it's going to be safe because they don't have any room for it. Even the smallest amounts of tritium can have negative health impacts. That's from uh, Dodson, 1974. Organically bound tritium, a tritium bound in animal or plant tissue, can stay in the body for 10 years or more. While tritiated water may be cleared from the human body in about 10 days, if a person lives in an area where tritium contamination continues, such as the coast of the United States where I've been saying forever isn't safe to live, he or she can experience chronic exposure to tritium. Tritium from tritiated water can become incorporated into the DNA. We all know what that does. Mental retardation, anyone? Alzheimer's, anyone? Sound fun? But it can't happen at these levels. Oh, wait a minute. Even the smallest amount of tritium can have negative health impacts. The molecular basis of hereditary for living organisms, DNA is especially sensitive to radiation. A cell's exposure to tritium bound in DNA can be even more toxic than its exposure to tritium in water. Now that we're understanding exactly what it is that we are addressing here, let's, let's really start the show and look at now that we can understand what it is that we're talking about. RT. 
dumping of Fukushima radioactive water into the ocean is, quote, unavoidable, Japanese Prime Minister says, as the country's fisheries reject the plan. Keep in mind that uh, the officials there have been so deduced in the past that they ended up with cancers that they had to lie and cover up and say it had nothing to do with Fukushima. Now, I'm not saying that it necessarily caused the cancer, but it caused whatever existing cancer mutations they had to sprout like a mushroom. <sighs> Japan's Fisheries Union says it remains opposed to the idea of dumping radioactive or accumulated water at the Fukushima nuclear plant into the ocean as top government officials signal the controversial plan will likely go ahead. So again, in supposedly free nations, I mean, <clears throat> we'll, get to, we'll get to China in a moment, you would expect the people of China to not listen to their, to their own citizenry. You'd expect that perhaps even in North Korea. Japan's supposed to be a free country, right? We won the war, right? That war was for freedom, we're told. How about the people of the fisheries that don't want this happening? Do they have a voice? Is it a free country or not? is it North Korea? If so, then just bring in the cheese eater, let Kim Jong-un go with it, and I'll write another article for World Net Daily and we'll shut the show down. I thought they were a free country. I think all kinds of things, so that's probably why I make sense. Japanese a Prime Minister... Yoshihide Suga, whose name I just destroyed again, met with the head of the National Federation of Fisheries. I'm not even used to it yet. Hush. Cooperative Associations, Hiroshima Kishi, on Wednesday discussing the options for disposing of radioactive waters described by the government as treated to have accumulated in storage units around the plant. Now, this idea that it has been treated, I'd like to address that for everyone as I rock on my cord and destroy my computer. Um, studio not done yet. Um, they, by treating it, they mean taking out many of the radioactive elements that can be removed from water. The reason I gave you that boring dissertation on tritium a moment ago is it's not so boring. It's that tritium cannot be removed from the water, even with the French company, who has uh, developed much of the science that TEPCO and uh, Japan is using. General Electric, never invest. Um, no mutual funds, nothing like that. Never, never, never. Uh, General Electric uh, cannot remove tritium from water because as far as we know in science yet, mankind cannot do so. It says the meeting was seemingly not fruitful with the fisheries union boss saying afterwards that fisheries groups remain opposed to the dumping of tainted water into the ocean which is set to happen over the course of many years, and little by little by little, and you'll just see your cancer rise slowly but surely. When we saw it after the bomb testing, everybody's got strontium. Now, you weren't, you weren't supposed to be born with strontium in your body. Well, how did that happen? Check out that. Bomb testing. I'm like nuclear disasters as well. Bomb testing. The same thing now. It's just instead of bomb testing, they're going to do it with this nuclear power plant that went red. While the plan has not yet been signed into a policy, it has been widely considered to be the main option on the table for dealing with the buildup. The disposal of a treated water is unavoidable, and experts have recommended that. I, that the release into the sea is the most realistic method that can be implemented. Based on these inputs, it, I would like to decide the government's policy. Kishi quoted Soga as saying after the meeting. Trade Minister Hiroshi Kaijama, however, said that the government can no longer postpone the decision on the Fukushima waters. 1.2 million tons of radioactive water are at the storage site. Now, you might wonder what some of the neighbors think. I mean, this is the analogy I've used many times. Long time viewers, just it's short, bear with me. As a libertarian, I look at things as follows. Now, there's nobody in the duplex beside me, so we're going to go with hypothesis here. If I decide to smoke marijuana in my own house, on my own side of the duplex, 
It doesn't matter who lives next door, whether they are a raging pothead, whether it's Snoop Dogg, or whether it's somebody opposed to the very idea that marijuana was ever brought to this country, probably from India, about 100 years ago, um, according to some people. It doesn't matter which side of the fence they're on, because my pot smoke, were I to do such a thing, has nothing to do with them. Not a zero, zip, zero, zero, not a hush. Mm. Now, same scenario. Let's say my neighbor decides that it's, it's fine. As a matter of fact, they're going to open a meth lab on their side. Hmm. No, no. Now, I have a right to say no, because if that blows up, then the consequences affect me, unlike pot use. And, and that affects me if it blows up. That affects the apartment buildings around the area. That affects the road, the people driving by. No, it affects other people. That is what this release of deadly poisons into the ocean is facilitating for those who are in that area. And one of the few things that the torturous, murderous people who run China and uh, the rather free nation of South Korea can agree on is that Japan is putting their health at risk. This is from SCMP. <clears throat> Listen to this, okay? South Korea and China agree. This is like saying uh, America and Iran unite on a topic. Do you understand that? Is that clear? Because that's the only analogy I can think of right now. Backlash to Japan's Fukushima wastewater plant quietens as South Korea and China assess the real cost. Analysts believe that South Korea, Russia, and Taiwan are more concerned about sacrificing bilateral ties with Japan, but China is still seated. After initially strongly opposing Japan's planned release of contaminated waters, its neighbors are now pressing Tokyo, Tokyo to be transparent about the discharge. Because they know that so far there has been nothing but lies documented to no end, as uh, the dear Dana Dunford says, lies. Hey, we don't agree on a lot of, like, he, I think he believes in global warming. He didn't like Trump, whatever. The point is, I'm very, people always ask me about him on the comment line. He's more than welcome on the show, and that's no loy. He's more than welcome on the show. Uh, he's more than fun to mock my Ohio accent, which I bet you he can do very well because he's very smart and very clever. And I, you know, I, I support what he does. People ask me about him all the time. As people like Dana Dunford and Kevin Blanche and myself and so many other people have done since day one, we've documented these lies. You think these other countries don't know that these lies exist? I mean, you've got South Korea and China agreeing on something for crying out loud. China called the decision extremely irresponsible, with the potential to cause damage to the marine environment and human health has yet to spell out further concrete steps against Tokyo. They have grave concerns. Yeah, I bet they have grave concerns. And those are well-founded concerns. Oh, there's just some tritium left. Well, make sure you go back and replay what I said and make sure if anybody tries to dispel what you're saying as a myth, Make sure you read to them the proof that there is no safe level of tritium exposure. That's very important to know, and then they should move along with their uh, ridiculous notions. Um, a China to Japanese official. This is from the Washington Compost. If treated radioactive water from Fukushima is safe, please drink it. Finally, I can say something good about China. Which is very rare, as the government, not the people I have nothing against. As spokesmen, the most of them are brainwashed. A spokesman for China's foreign ministry challenged Japan's deputy prime minister Wednesday to drink treated water, contaminated from contact with reactors from the wrecked Fukushima nuclear power plant after the release official suggested the water released would be safe to consume. A Japanese official said it's okay to drink the water. Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesman Zhao, Li, Zhao Lijian said at a news briefing, and then please drink it. The ocean is not Japan's trash can, Zhao also said. The Chinese official also tweeted a similar message in English. Good for him. 
Because Japan was warned not to build this there. And they did it anyway. Japan's Deputy Prime Minister Tari Aso, Aso, I'll just let it stand, had said the treated diluted water would be safe to drink, and he thinks the country would, should have released the water earlier. And again, this water is backing up because it's been running through the plant, which has parts in it that are so radioactive that machines can't even get close to it without melting down. No, I'm not exaggerating, that's true. And... This water comes through the other end. It's treated. Uh, tritium is still in it. Uh, small levels, not traceable, of course. Uh, of course. It's still in the water, and they want to release it into the ocean. The plan is to begin releasing the water in two years and continue slowly over decades. The Japanese government has said that the water will be treated further to remove dangerous isotopes and a diluted and diluted to meet World Health Organization standards. Although it would not be able to remove tritium, radioactive form of hydrogen. So the World Health Organization knows the science that I read at the beginning of this, and the World Health Organization wonders why people do not trust them and rightfully stand against them at every turn if they have a thinking part of their brain. We all know the slogan for the show. Use the thinking part of your brain. Or that or man-made global warming is a lie. The International Atomic Energy Agency will be supervising the operation. That does not make me feel better. Radiation experts have played down the fears about the water, suggesting that ingesting...